chain four, slip stitch to join, chain one, make nine single crochet in the ring, carrying the yarn ends along the outside of the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, slip stitch to join, chain two, and turn, double crochet in the same stitch, and then make two double crochet in each stitch around, so two double crochet in each stitch around, Okay, I've made two double crochet in each stitch around, and I'm going to slip stitch to join. And I have 20 stitches around. Now when the hat is finished, you can either leave this hole open for ventilation, or you can pull on the yarn end to close up the top of the hat. Okay, I'm going to chain one, and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around single crochet in each stitch around. Repeat all the way around. Okay, I've made one single crochet in each stitch around and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Chain two and turn. Make a double crochet in the same stitch and then make two double crochet in each stitch around. One one, two. Repeat in each stitch around. Okay, I have double crocheted, two double crochets in each stitch around, and I'm going to slip stitch to join, and I now have a total of 40 stitches, and that's all the increased stitches for the top of the hat. So I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. Single crochet in each stitch around. Repeat across the row. Okay, I've made one single crochet in each stitch around and I've slip stitched to join. And now we're going to repeat and uh, just do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm just going to do that off camera and you'll see that the hat is going to start to cu to cup up. Okay, I've done six rows of single crochet in every stitch around, and this is how the hat looks at this stage. And here's how it looks when I put it on my mannequin's head. So I can see that I need to probably do another inch of work, and um, I'm going to make this row a row of double crochets because I'm going to pass a ribbon through the hat. So I'm going to make one row of double crochets. So I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. Continue all the way around. Okay, I've worked one row of double crochet in each stitch around. And here's how it looks on the mannequin's head. So I'm going to chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch around. Repeat all the way around the hat. So this is how the hat looks after I've done one more row of single crochet. So now to make the brim, we're going to have to start um, getting larger around. So chain one and turn. Single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat all the way around. Okay, so I've done one row and you can see that it's beginning to flare out. So I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. 
continue all the way around. Okay, I've completed my row of one single crochet in each stitch around and the hat is beginning to form a brim. Now I don't want the brim to get too large. This is my slip stitch to join area. So now I'm just going to make single crochets for 10 stitches and then I'm going to make half double crochets in all the stitches around until I get to 10 stitches before my slip stitch and then I'm going to make single crochets again. Okay, so I've counted 10 stitches on each side of the fasten off stitch and I've put a little piece of yarn in to mark these stitches. So I'm just going to single crochet up to here and then I'm going to half double crochet all the way around to here and then I'm going to single crochet to here. Okay, I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet up to that first mark. Okay, now I'm going to half double crochet all the way around to the other marker. Half double crochet, yarn over and pull the yarn through all three. I'm just going to continue around and do that. Okay, I have completed that and now I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to slip stitch up to my stitch marker and then I'm going to make half double crochet around to the next stitch marker and then slip stitch to my slip stitch to join section. Okay, I'm slip stitching in each stitch up to the stitch marker, like that, and there's the stitch right above the stitch marker, and now I'm going to switch half double crochets in each stitch around, okay, so continue around with half double crochets. Okay, I have completed that row of slip stitch to join up to the marker, then half double crochets around to the next marker, and then slip stitch to join. So now you can see that the front of the brim is wider than the back, and now I'm just going to make one row of slip stitch all around the outside of the brim just to give it a more rigid finish. Okay, I've made one row of slip stitch all the way around the outside edge. Be careful not to make them too tight so that it won't pull like that. So you just try and keep them a little bit relaxed. Okay, now I'm going to pass a cord through this row of double crochet stitches. I'm just going to pass a piece of torn fabric. If you want to use ribbon, go ahead and use ribbon. I'm going to start it right there at the back and I'm just going to go through one stitch and then I'm going to pass over two because I want more of the ribbon to show. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. And if you like you can steam your brim by placing it flat on the ironing board and then steam along the edge. Like that. It gets nice and straight. And you could use the uh, flower and pin to pin up the side of the brim as well.